in most solutions out there that use WebRTC, you're going to have an SFU instead, a selective forwarding unit. How does that work? Let's look. We have a user. The user is going to send the media over to the SFU. The SFU will then route that media towards the other participants. So you've got that user sending the media and the media being spread to everyone else. The second user, the one on the bottom left, is going to send his media as well. And the SFU is going to spread that media to everyone else again. And so on and so forth. So each user that joins <coughs> publishes his own media and subscribes to the media of others in the call. And the SFU, a selective forwarding unit, would selectively decide what to send to each participant. What's nice about this solution is that it takes the complexity that we had on the media server and spreads it out to the users. So some of the complexity now resides on the SFU, and we'll see what that means and why we need to optimize that. And some of the complexity goes to the end users. Now, here's a challenge. Let's say that one of the users isn't uniform like the others. That user joined from a smartphone on a 3G, 4G cellular network. He's got a poor connection, he's got a poor device, a low-end CPU, not enough memory, whatever the reason is. And now he can't really receive all of the three incoming bit streams that we have here, all of the large video feeds that he's receiving, because we're sending them at HD video quality. What we want is a high-definition call, a very high-quality meeting, right? That's what we are trying to strive for. So now, what is he going to do about that? What's a solution that we can have? The first one would say, you know what? Let's drop that user out. We're not going to serve a user that cannot handle the traffic. So we're not going to sacrifice quality for everyone else because of this one user that we have. The other option is to reduce quality for everyone. Okay, we want everyone in this meeting, so we're going to sacrifice the quality, reduce the bit rates, reduce the resolutions, and everyone will receive the same crappy video. Why? So that everyone can be on this call. So I'm going to leave you with this for our next video, and that's how can we scale and maintain quality with an SFU? If we've got a group call and we still want to route the media around to spread the complexity so we can actually put the service out, what do we need to do in order to scale better and maintain a high quality at the same time? Until then, follow me at blogic.me.